Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I went through the drive through at Wendy's and holy smokers, they got a brand new, actually three new products all under the bacon queso uh, line. There's a burger, there's a chicken sandwich, and there's what I got, which is the bacon queso fries. Here's the package out of the bag, the Wendy's logo, and the Chef Combo approved plastic fork and knife and spoon. Now let's take off the lid here, and we can get a close-up look at these bacon queso fries. There's the queso sauce and of course we've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight half pieces of bacon I guess you'd call it. And now if you look real close, you'll see the little green pieces of poblano peppers inside the queso. There's another green chunk there. So that's a little bit more than you get in the Taco Bell queso. Some sizzling bacon there. And of course the natural cut Wendy's fries. Now it's time to deploy the Chef Combo approved plastic fork with the high quality Wendy's logo on there direct from the factory somewhere in the uh, dictatorships of Asia I imagine. The aroma is surprisingly it's mostly french fries as opposed to you'd expect a spicy pepper aroma. Uh, picking up a little bit on this side. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. There actually is a minor bit of a zing and a good fresh pepper flavor from the poblano peppers on here. Not as spicy as the Taco Bell queso yet. Still not getting much more than a little zing, barely a 1 out of 10 on the Robert Dyer heat scale. Let's see if we can get some more here. It's a pretty good, uh, slightly sharp cheddar, cheddar flavor. bacon is pretty good. Wendy's has one of the better types of bacon. And I have to say the fries themselves seem a little extra good this time around more than usual. What are you doing in here? Can't you see there's serious work going on? How'd you get past the librarian? What am I paying her for? You see this thing on the bag from Wendy's? It says 
to talk to a real person in Ohio, call this number. Can I talk to a hot young woman in Ohio in a run-down industrial town with a Mountain Dew tattoo, piercings, who smokes Marlboro menthols? I mean, what other fast food restaurant offers this? Where's my Obama phone? Where's my Obama phone? Well, this has a great Poblano pepper flavor, very accurate, very fresh. I'm a big fan of Poblano peppers, so I really like that about this. I think if you're looking for something spicier like Taco Bell, you're going to be disappointed. There isn't any red powder or something else to really get the heat level up here. I also think that perhaps I noticed on the sign as I went through that it seems like the sandwiches may have salsa on them as well. And it seemed like they had put some of the salsa and some sour cream on this. It really would have gotten it up to the ultimate level. And as far as the price, the uh, bacon queso fries are $2.99. Then the Montgomery County Council greedily took $0.18 cents tax for themselves. Ridiculous as usual, but just this week they not only put their $1.3 million fortress security system in place where they're going to make everybody strip down when they come in like the airport and pat everybody down and go through their bags and all that. I mean, these people are megalomaniacs. They, they, they think they're the President of the United States. I'm going to say that had we had the extra ingredients I suggested they have on hand that they could have put in, uh, this would be five stars for sure. Uh, without those, I'm going to say it's a very solid four stars and still a must buy. I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.